please click the button. The purposes of flushing are the cooling and purification of the seal surfaces. But what happens if there are contaminants in the flushing fluid itself? Scales, rust, and other solids in the pipes may become mixed in with the flushing fluid. A mechanical seal uses the force of a spring to make the rotating ring follow the movement of the shaft in the thrust direction. If sediment accumulates there, it becomes difficult for the spring to expand and contract. And if the shaft then moves in the thrust direction, such as when the pump starts up or shuts down, the rotating ring also moves along with it. As a result, a gap develops in the seal surface, and massive leakage occurs. Meanwhile, fine contaminants several microns or less in size impinge on the seal surfaces and damage them. This damage can cause leakage of the fluid. If large contaminants, sediment, etc., get mixed in with the flushing fluid, we would ordinarily install a strainer to remove them, to prevent problems of this sort. When problems caused by contaminants occur frequently, we can analyze the liquid to find out the constituent contaminants and corrosion factors such as pH value and corrosive material concentration. If corroded products are present, we have to consider making changes. For example, we may change the operating conditions in the previous process, or introduce corrosion control measures such as anti-corrosive agents. Also, during regular inspections of the plant, we have to scrutinize operating procedures carefully and ensure that we follow them. In particular, when fluids are collected, for instance, when equipment is shut down, there's a possibility of an increase in contaminants, suspended particles, etc. When reusing fluids, we have to check their contents and confirm that the levels aren't problematic.